Hello Booktube, it's Ben here from the History Fella channel. Um, here today with a book review. Um, I realised I hadn't done a book review for um, a couple of months, so um, I thought I'd better get a few done. Um, before I mention the book that I'm going to review, um, sometimes when you um, review in history books um, like I do, um, it's sometimes a bit hard because sometimes I have um, viewers to the channel that are quite into history and know quite a bit about it and that sort of thing. But then I also have a number of viewers that um, are kind of new to history and probably haven't heard of many um, battles or operations and aspects of um, the history books I read. So it's kind of trying to find a balance in between the two where I'm not giving away too much information but hopefully enough that um, it appeals to both um, newbie fans of, of history to um, people with a lot of knowledge of history. But, um, anyway, I shall try my best to kind of um, cater for the middle ground. And the book I'm going to, or I've read, is Dieppe, A Necessary Failure. And that's written by Henry Buckton, published by Amberley Publishing, and it's priced at £20. Um, I'd also like to thank Philip, who's allowed me to read and review this book. Um, it's very much appreciated, and the standard of books at Amberley Publishing are certainly high and well up there, and definitely worth a visit to um, have a trawl through all our books, because they are excellent books. Um, the book, um, it follows, um, the raid on Dieppe. Obviously the title kind of gives away what happened because it's called Dieppe, the necessary failure. Um, it follows Operation Jubilee on the, um, I think it was the 19th of August, 1942. Um, in which there was a raid on Dieppe by British forces and amongst other allied forces as well um, trying to attack the um, the Atlantic seawall of France that had been put up by Hitler during World War II. Um, the book looks into uh, great detail, very comprehensively in my opinion. Um, I th I thoroughly enjoyed reading it and the detail in it was um, of a really high class and um, very readable in, indeed. It follows Operation Jubilee, which um, involved around 6,000. I've got, I've kind of got the um, exact figures here or most of them. Um, 6,086 troops in all were involved, but um, it was let's just say 4,397 uh, were either missing, wounded, taken prisoner or killed in the action and um, unfortunately the country that um, suffered the most were the Canadians because they lost about 900 troops so um, very sadly they didn't fare too well. Um, it was seen as a preamble to D-Day. Um, if you look at the two, there are uh, great similarities between um, D-Day and Operation Jubilee. Um, I think it was an operation that was put into um, effect, but kind of not planned very well. Um, and obviously you can see the differences between the two operations and it shows that the Allies had clearly learned um, or learnt quite a bit on how to do a better job, which is where they came up with um, the operations in D-Day. So, um, other than that, you're probably going to have to go in, uh, into more detail, um, but I would say it's a really good book, a very good read. And certainly, if you fancy read the copy of this, I would highly recommend this. Um, I will leave a link down below in the description. 
and for £20 or it might actually be even be a little bit re more reduced it's certainly a fantastic book and well worth reading um, on the back I should say the people who planned it should be shot and that's a quote from Captain Patrick Porteous VC of the Royal Regiment of Artillery so um, it was kind of um, an operation where um, the Allied forces underestimated the German forces and very sadly they um, suffered quite a bit and lost quite a few men or were they were certainly taken prisoner. But um, I can highly recommend this book, Dieppe and Necessary Failure, written by Henry Buckton, published by Ambly Park Rushing, and I shall leave the link below. Other than that, that's the end of that little review. Thank you very much. Um, I hope I was able to kind of balance between um, maybe certain people's knowledge of history and um, their interest in World War II. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, I shall see you very soon with some more videos. Um, please take care.